Good afternoon. Again, everyone, welcome back to our Kelp Forest community. For any new faces that have just joined us here, my name is Dagny. I'm waving at you all from in front of these windows right now. And I want to introduce you to this space before we get things started because it is truly one of my absolute favorites here at this aquarium. In fact, what we are looking at right in front of us now is not a random collection of algae and animals. It's a thriving, vibrant community made up of lots of different personalities and characteristics, like what you would find in your own neighborhood back at home. And at the root of this community, anchoring it all together, is the kelp itself. It's providing a home and food for all of the many species that live in this ecosystem. But I have a question for you all this afternoon. Has anyone been to our back deck yet? Okay, that's your homework next. So when you do stop by our back deck, what you here is gorgeous, and I can see everybody. There's so many of you. Welcome. Well, since Meredith can see all of us, everybody, give her a very warm welcome. Yay! Woo! Gotta have that warm welcome to keep you warm in that chilly water today. <laughs> oh, it's only 55. What are you talking about? It's great. I see you brought the party with you as well. You got lots of friends in there. Would you mind telling us a little bit about you're about to do in this exhibit? I'm going to. Well, hey, you're stealing my food. I am going to feed all these sea turks, and I want to make sure that everyone gets a little something to eat. Uh, because the water is a little colder, as you mentioned, um, that makes them hungrier. Their metabolism racks up, so you guys are going to get a very good show. Amazing, and they're already kicking into gear here. I'm seeing lots of action going on for that krill. But I do want to let you know we've got our California sheephead making its way on behind you here. There we go. Oh, hello, buddy. So that's that big orange, black, and white fish that you might see coming up front and center right now. I am looking. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this, you, you know, there are a lot of sharks in here. And you may think that that's what I need to worry about with my fingers. No, it's the sheep she head right there. Would you let us know why exactly that might be? Oh, he rejected it. <laughs> he has very strong jaws. They can snap the roots in. And the reason for that is because they eat sea urchins, which have hard shells. Which is a good thing in a pump forest because sea urchins eat cup. And without a predator, they would destroy this ecosystem. And for that reason, they earn a very special title out in the kelp forest of being a keystone species. So just like our southern sea otters that you might have seen as you're passing on through, they also really love to crunch on sea urchins. And by doing that, they're helping to protect the beauty of our kelp forest. But just a moment ago, you were talking about swimming with all of these sharks in here and saying that you weren't very afraid of them. So would you let us in on why that is the case, Meredith? Yeah, hopefully I can show you as I'm explaining. See, their mouths are on the bottom of their bodies because they're bottom feeders. And they have tiny, tiny little teeth that are like Velcro. And uh, they, they're gentle creatures. They're not, they're, not, they're not very scary. You know, there are over 300 kinds of sharks. See, they kind of push you like a puppy when they want to. There we go. I'm reaching in my bucket to get what it wants. It wants squid. Here we go. Very cool. I didn't got that. I'll get you one. Wait, I'll get you one. <laughs> we got that sheep head kind of cruising back on around. I do want to give you a heads up whenever it's making an appearance. Just for the sake of any of your fingers getting in the way. <laughs> Watch that one. Oh, he dodged it. <laughs> Maybe it'll come around for seconds. Yeah. I have one. He's very impatient. There we go. They are being very puppy-like today. <laughs> Certainly coming and saying hi, being very friendly. <laughs> now, out in the wild, these leopard sharks are known to, known to be a little bit more shy, but here in exhibit, they are certainly not afraid to come up front and center. <laughs> 
Do you have any experience diving out in Monterey Bay, seeing these leopard sharks in the wild? Um, only one time. I uh, was in Point Lobos. Down, uh, I found your way to make sure, and I saw a big, beautiful one. They, um, they hang out in the shallows, but they're very uh, reclusive, so you don't see them very often. So this is a really tricky. They are so beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> But I do want to address the giant sea bass in the room. We've got it cruising right behind you on your, I believe, left-hand side, yes. So that'll be that big gray fish that some of us might have seen. But it doesn't look quite as interested in this feeding that Meredith has to offer. So Meredith, would you shine some light on why that might be the case? Yes. So our sea bass is uh, part of the, the aquarium is involved in scientific research about the sea bass because they are critically endangered. So we are measuring her growth rate to help with conservation efforts. So we have to feed her separately and we have to train her to come to a target of the green circle. Uh, that way we can measure what she eats and how much she weighs, how much she's growing. It's pretty amazing. So you did hear Meredith right. We do train our giant sea bass. So when they see divers entering the exhibit and holding up a big green circle, they'll know it's time for them to get fed. And we do positive reinforcement, so constantly offering them lots of tasty treats to build that trusting bond and association. So it's really incredible work that we're getting to do here at this aquarium. <laughs> Well, looks like you've got some more shark well, friends making it. Was. Yeah. They're being very silly today. <laughs> they are.